say that, we were the first country to abolish slavery, not just continue the practice of it. I mean, every other nation had slavery, including today. There's more slaves today than there were back then. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, we'll be checking out Charles Clark put race based in academic in her place. Guys, let's get straight into this. I want to try to debalkanize America, right? I, I think. Sure. I think these kind of the the, the creation. Unless of, it's the Boy Scouts. Well, but that, that's that's gender. Gender ge gender differences are completely important for formative reasons, sociological reasons. Do you so, think that it's wrong to have uh, international houses at these? I don't love it. I'll be very honest. I don't. Okay, well then that's consistent, and, that, and that's fine. I, I think that if you come to America, I want you to try to participate in our attempt to be a multiracial republic, right? In the attempt, like I don't love the idea of hyphen America. I don't. I don't like this idea of Chinese American, Iranian American, African American. I want. I want to try, albeit clumsy, to strive towards the idea that I'm an American. Like I don't. So ch I yeah. hear that, Charlie. And if I could just say this, I think this is such a crucial point. Part of I think why some black people and other non-white people bristle a little bit at this idea that, you know, people like yourselves really want individuality and the ability to be mm -hmm. your own person and not to be subsumed in stereotypes or groups or tribalism, is that the whole story, the whole narrative of advocating for yourself on the basis of your identity historically has been because, by law, you weren't allowed to be an individual. By the Constitution, you were three-fifths of a person. By uh, Jim Crow laws, you couldn't ride the same trains as whites or drink at the same fa water, water fountains. By redlining, you weren't allowed, to, allowed by law to live in the same neighborhoods as whites, or you at least weren't going to be granted a loan to be able to live in the same neighborhoods as whites. And many of those white neighborhoods had restrictive covenants in the lease that explicitly precluded black people from living in those neighborhoods. And people wanted to be individuals. People wanted to be able to live where they wanted to live, go to school where they wanted to live, go to the hospital they wanted to go to, marry who they wanted to marry. And the literal laws of the United States of America said, no, you cannot do that. And so people started to advocate, OK, I'm black and I don't have access to this privilege. I, I'm, I'm Asian and I don't have access to this. I'm Latino, I'm Chicano. And we had all of these movements to get people to be able to be individuals. So people bristle a little, I think, at this idea that the existence of advocacy along identity lines is to be balkanized. It's quite the opposite. It's Nine out of 13 states had abolished slavery by the Constitution. Northwest Ordinance had all new territories were free. And, and what do you take from that? That America wasn't racist? Not only that, we were the first country to abolish slavery, not just continue the practice of it. I mean, every other nation had slavery, including today. There's more slaves today than there were back then. Standard, unfortunately, slavery is the norm. Abolition is the exception. And America led the way. Charlie, that's, you have to understand. You're, you're not an unintelligent person. You know that that's a logical fallacy. Why? If you and I both have kids, and we both start beating our kids at the same time, and we're ruthless, abusive parents, and you stop a year before I stop, that doesn't make us not ruthful, ruthless, abusive parents. So where in the Federalist Papers does it justify slavery? Why does it matter well, that whether or not, no, That's the me. framework of our country. No. When it comes to slavery, I really, really find it, uh, I really don't like talking about it sometimes because like it's, it gets emotional because I actually watched some videos about it and I really don't like thinking about it. But like, I honestly watched a clip where Muhammad Ali said, don't call me African-American, I'm American. Like, just call me American. Like, we need to stop this kind of Asian-American, African-American, stop. And I, I'll say this, if you're American, you're American. And I honestly would say we should put slavery in the past. Like, it's something that happened. It's something we've learned from. It's a history that we continue going on. But like right now, no one is buying slaves. No one is selling slaves. I know there's still human trafficking going on, but like no one can openly bring out people and say I'm selling them. Like it does not make sense. And a lot of people have accepted this moment. A lot of white people are actually advocating for black people now. And like it's more like we are past that. Like we see that it didn't work and we're past that. And I really don't like when people try to bring this up, especially black people. And I'll say this, like, it's heartbreaking, but like, we've lived the life and right now we have opportunities to build empires and do what we want to do. Like, there are a lot of black, rich men, youth, like, let's focus on that. Like, let's focus on the positive part of it. Like, I understand that our forefathers had to pay a price for us to be where we are. And that price should not should we should take advantage of it we should not keep on putting our mind in the past like it's it happened it's done 
let's move to the future. Like, I feel a lot of white people actually feel bad enough already. Like, the way, like, I feel they already feel bad enough and things happen, but like, let's just focus on the future. I feel it's going to be better for us and for everyone if we don't keep on feeling this kind of, oh, we were slaves. Oh, we were treated this way. Oh, I don't have equal rights with a white man. And that's false because we all have equal rights right now and we all can make the same money. If you put your mind to it, you can make your money. We can, you can live anywhere you want to live with your children. And like, that's all I have to say. Guys, what do you think about this? Please like, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.